If there's steamy, crazy video out there in the NFL, this guy has it at Jay Glazer, Fox NFL Insider. So that we, is a before, fantastic compliment, by the that way. That was that was um, who's the guy at Yahoo I like? Charles Robinson. There you yeah, go. I like him, good dude. Did yeah. You, yeah, yeah, smart that was dude. Good. Now I really like him. Okay, so <laughs> um, the gentleman's name is Mauricio Ortega from La Prenda. Right. And before we get to the video, let's let's get our audience ready for this. Um, yesterday you gave us fascinating. I was fascinated. Thanks. Little snippet. Matrixed. Show a guy <laughs> in. Show a guy out. Right. Now, before we get to the video, explain, Jay, the depth of this and what we're right. going to show. Well, look, I think there's two stories here. One of them, obviously, is the fallout of what has happened after Tom Brady's jersey was stolen. The other, which we're about to show you, is the night of, basically, the caper and how it happened. So once we realize who we we're looking at, again, we did the, the Super Bowl at Fox. So we have cameras everywhere. We obviously more cameras than any anybody's ever had at a Super Bowl. So we're able to then go back and piece that. And people at Fox have done an, an unbelievable job. So this job. is Fox, not the FBI. This is us. Uh, this is, um, we've gone back and looked at what we have now to what we're about to show you here to start piecing things together where we could show once we really had an idea of this guy, which again, we've been working on this for a couple weeks here. And when you're dealing with things that are not just, oh, Mike Lennon signs with the Bears. When you're dealing with stuff that, you know, deals with something on international soil, the FBI, another government, you better make sure you are a thousand percent sure on everything, right? Accuracy is number one. So we've been working on this for a while. Once we then were able to have an absolute positive ID, go back into a lot of the video, and people here have been working tirelessly. So, so basically our company, Fox, now, now because I'm, I'm playing along, I, I'm an audience member now. I just saw snippets. Nobody knew who did this. Did we go to the FBI? Um, I'm going to protect. No, we didn't go to the FBI. But um, the work that we've done on this over the last couple of weeks. Okay. And part of this, look, got to protect sources who I've talked okay. to. Okay. Um, there has been so much work. The FBI has done a great job with their legwork because they had to start basically from scratch. And people are going, why is the FBI involved? Look, you were talking about it. Tom Brady's jersey, this one's worth a half million dollars, valued at that. Von Miller's helmet, whatever that's valued at. The other jersey is valued at five, six figures, whatever. We're talking about a huge sum of money that of stolen goods transported over state lines, then international lines. That is a federal issue. By the way, it's a felony if I mm -hmm. went to your mailbox and took out a seven dollar right. check. Okay, so let's just show that now. We're so gonna yeah, yeah. So the the thing we're going to go into right now. If you want to show the video right now, this is. Everything that happened that night. It's a 46-minute, basically, timeline that we've condensed down here okay. to two minutes. So this is the moment, 9.36, that Tom Brady takes his jersey off. It's given to a team employee, right? Okay, there that it is. team employee, you have it there. So Tom's over on the field there. Um, and then we're following him. He hands so it off So that's the team employee. That's a team employee. That's, that's a league employee. Um, I would think it's a team employee because Tom's not just going to give it to whoever he wants. These are cameras we were able to use. We had parked out in the Patriots locker room. So there um, it is. So you see, right, you see this coming up. This is the, the guy. Here. There's a few minutes with the jersey going into the locker room. Okay. And here, as we can understand, the other guy, the, the perpetrator here, who is, again, <laughs> it's unbelievable. He is a big name in Mexico. Big name. Mauricio Ortega is, is that, and that's where you see him right there. There right. he is. Now, now. He is a, a director of one of the biggest new newspapers in Mexico. Here we see him. He's taking selfies, which TMZ showed yesterday, a history of about 10 years of selfies at Super Bowls, with Gronk, with Slater. And then we see him for the first time here pick up in Bill Belichick's group to try and infiltrate, act like he's one of the crew, and start walking into the locker room. This is well before the rest of the media was allowed in. Oh. Yesterday, we pixelated it. Today, we don't have to. Legally, we've been able to do this. And you see him right here, Whoa. well before the rest of the media, just walk right in the Ooh. locker room Ooh. with the wrong badge on. Oh. With the wrong badge on. How'd he get that badge? And he's, it's not the proper badge to be in there at that time. And he's just Here's walking comes Brady. around. So now here comes Tom Brady here. But that guy's already in the locker room. Check this out. Oh. He looks right at one of our cameras. This was huge uh, in identifying who this was. That shot right there was instrumental. And the whole time also, he's just mulling about, walking around. You see he has nothing under his left arm. right? And this is at 10-11. 10-18, we see him walk out here with the jersey under his left arm, and I'm going to go back and tell you what happened in those seven minutes in a little bit. You see him walking off the field there when the rest of the media is going in to do their job. 
He's now walking off, and you see him kind of glance around here, turn around, seeing if everybody's on to him here, switched the jersey in the other hand. And then we get him here um, making his way off the field. Look, anybody who's covering the NFL and covering the Super Bowl, and you see us there at Fox. We're still on our postgame show. They're not running off the field there, which we're going to see him here. It's, it's hard to see. Running off the field here. 46 minutes later, that's when you're going to get your interviews. That's when you're going to do all your work So because you're on deadline. Instead, we'll see him. He just makes his way off okay. the field there. Okay, now, there is – that. that's amazing. The whole thing is fascinating. So you get the jersey and the lead kid. You get the guy. You get Brady. And then, obviously, you get him looking at the camera. Right. Okay. Looking right up at the camera. Now, right into the camera. Now – there is a gap in right. the footage. I don't know if it's four or five minutes. About seven minutes, right. When he steals mm -hmm. the jersey. Do we have that? Okay, so we have the information what happened. Again, this has been something I've been working on for a while, and I've been talking to sources in several, several different law enforcement agencies. This was the FBI. This was, you know, NFL security, and the Patriots are involved, in, and the Mexican authorities who work, great with the FBI and NFL security and the Patriots. It really was. It actually did a phenomenal job in getting this back. Um, so in just doing hour after hour of interviews and talking to people, what we've come to understand is during that seven minutes, he's basically walking around. At one point, he's taking selfies over there by Tom's area. From what I understand, Tom had the jersey in his own bag. So instead of just taking Tom's bag, this guy who – made himself look like he was part of the celebration, went down and pulled Tom's jersey out of his bag, put it in his own bag, and then, again, we see him making his way out of the Patriot locker room here with the jersey in hand. Okay, now, where does it go from here? Okay. So we have, we have the perpetrator. Um, where does it go from here? All right, so a couple of breaking uh, items here that just reported a little bit ago. Number one, both of Tom Brady's jerseys are back in Massachusetts right now. They finally gotten back there. They're still doing tests to authenticate them and make sure, yes, we're 99.9% .9 sure, but we believe that's his jerseys. Let's just make sure okay. they haven't just, there's no fraudulence there. Um, and I believe once that happens, they'll then return them to the Patriots perhaps as early as tomorrow. Tom's on vacation, so he's not over there in, in New England. Von Miller's helmet, we broke that yesterday, that they also found Von Miller's helmet from the Super Bowl two years ago on this guy. That, as we speak, is being sent to the FBI office in Denver for them to authenticate. Just got off the phone with somebody close to Von, though, who said Von's helmet and cleats were both stolen from that Super Bowl. Didn't care about the helmet, but he really wants to know where the cleats are, and he was hoping that this guy had those cleats. He actually wore two different pairs of cleats in that game, but there's something special about these cleats for Vaughn, and that's what he's still searching for. As of right now, I don't, from what I understand, he didn't have these cleats, just okay. the helmet. Um, so it's just, look, you do stories like this, there's so many levels, because it does, it gets crazy, it gets, it gets fun tracking them down, but the crazier part is, all right, yes, Tom Brady's jersey was stolen, it's the greatest comeback in the history of the NFL, the biggest, obviously, um, and who it is, but the alleged perpetrator, the fact that this man is an editorial writer, an editorial columnist, and a director is what his title is. One of the biggest newspapers in Mexico. And it's he not is like a he's some. He's a professional thief. This, and he's a professional thief over years and years and years, allegedly, over years and years and years, uh, is amazing. Again, it's not just like there was a freelance writer that knew how to do this, but you do see him in there. He knows how to do it. Right, it's like he was he was so brazen about it, and he was so he got caught on camera cool calm, staring collected, at the camera, and he's been taking years and years and years of selfies with all these different um, players. It it is just unbelievable. Who knows what else this guy has done? It's uh, I, I don't look. I, I think people are going, oh my gosh, this story's so crazy. It kind of exhausts you a little bit. It's so crazy that I wouldn't be surprised if something crazier came out of it at one point. It just really is that bizarre. Every time, right before I came in here, I was on the phone with another source who said, well, got another little twist for you. And I was coming on the show right here. So I said, what? how long is it going to take? And he said, how long until you on? I said, about five minutes. He said, oh, it's going to take longer than that. Wow. So there will be other things that come out. But look, great job by the by the authorities to get it back. Um, I know the jersey meant a lot to Tom also because of his, his mom. Sure. Um, and great job 
everybody here to put in the legwork. There's a lot of work done mm -hmm. to go and find someone who no one knows. And we have to try and ID him. The law enforcement is trying to ID him. Everybody's trying to do their stuff. And we have the video. And be able to use this video. Now, this video we showed you, actually, because every all the networks dumped out their video to you know FBI and, and, and NFL League Security. So they used tons and tons of video. What I know is this video we just showed you from what I was told by one of my sources was instrumental in being able to ID the person in there. Jay, great seeing you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it.